everybody, Eric Brown and Cosplay here, uh, playing with the new uh, wrist servo. This is a straight up servo, it's not an actuator. It is a 20 kilogram servo. It is uh, quite powerful. I really, really like it. Uh, also using the servo blocks from uh, Servo City. That is this whole little contraption right here, and I'm going to have to dodge this when it starts uncurling again. Um, that servo block takes a whole load of this entire contraption and lets it spin around. I tried it at 45 degree angles and it can still turn it, so I'm hopeful that this works out. Also of note, it's also quite a bit taller than the other one. This is the old one right here. Oops, dodging. And you can see that the top of this right here is where this is. This little block right here, which is the clamp that, not, that holds onto the tube, that's what this is right here. You can see that right there. So that little thing is quite a bit higher. Um, so the consequences of that are I'm going to have to chop that tube down, this body tube right here. That's going to come down. Also, that actuator, which is right here, this actuator is going to have to come up quite a bit too. I've got the room. I think I'll be okay. I just have to find a creative way to redo this black bracket right here. That black bracket is what was holding the old actuator, which is making it go up and down. But it also mounts the shells. You know, this great big shell that goes on the back, and then the other shell that clamps onto the other side of that. So, I don't want to have to redo the placement of that bracket, because otherwise I have to redo my shells. And those were very, very long and very time consuming and very expensive to do because it's quite a bit of plastic. So uh, just a quickie update there on how all that's working. Oh, also uh, you can see the uh, the double PQ-12 actuators here. Uh, right now I just kind of did a little janky sort of thing where I've got uh, the one going through the other right there. Just a big long bolt that goes through and uh, pulls on that arm. But it does work extremely well with two of them. And again, I have the space because the design is symmetrical. So, thanks for watching.